Alright, here we go. So unfortunately, about 40 minutes of this footage was destroyed. So here is me re-showing you a couple of the stuff that I already got done in the first half. I made this little pocket on the back of this letter and kind of just set up myself before I got into this bad pit of pin paddle um, block, I guess. Anyways, right now I'm writing out a little bitty message where I'm like, hey, look at all these pictures I'm giving you. My pin pal Jackie really loves NCT. In fact, she's the one that got me into them. And so I decided to include a couple pictures of her favorite people and mine as well. And yeah. It opens and closes like a little folder. All right, next. Time to get to the good stuff. Um, yeah. I'm testing out some pens on these papers to make sure that the color doesn't actually affect the ink very much. I may or may not have gone overboard with this part. <laughs> Time to start. So for some reason, I have held onto this like holographic shiny paper for a long time and I really have been wanting to use it. So I tried to find some way to use it throughout this letter in general to kind of like add something or another. And I think I used it pretty well. Unfortunately, at this little bit, I really messed up that lettering. <laughs> yep, scrap that. But starting new can sometimes work out really well because this actually is one of my favorite things that I did. Like, it looks really nice. I like how I incorporated the corner bits. And cutting off the little side hanging thingies. Cool. Okay. Do the rest of that part <laughs> off camera after I add a little bit of tape. Now for the playlist. Boom. So a lot of the time, whenever I'm working on my pen pal letters, I like to take decorative paper and like rip it apart so I can tape it in different places. I don't know, I guess I really like the aesthetic of like the ripped edges. I tried to play more with that holographic paper, but it did not work out. Done. I don't know why the tape was giving me such a struggle. next order of business, I decided to make a little like 
hello card, I guess you could say. I don't know, I just, I had to make sure my dinosaur was definitely like a main feature of the first thing she'd see. From now on, I'm gonna make that like a staple of every letter I send, because, hmm, I love dinosaurs. Okay, we're back. So I decided I was going to show you how the end of the letter went. This is just a little intro. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on the actual envelope or what. Then I have three cards. You only watched me make one, but I made this one previously. Just drew on it a little bit. It says first. I made this one while I was reading a book at Barnes and Noble. Just hanging out in the little coffee area. Second. And of course this one did together. And I'm gonna seal it up with this little sticker right here. Ta-da. And then it says open to enjoy. And then in here I put those three pictures I wanted to include. And now that we're done with all the letters here, or some of the extras. So I wanted to give her some of the notebook paper. I cut a little piece of the decorative paper I was using. I have two of these cute little cloud sticky notes. Some of this weird reflective stuff that I really wanted to include. And then this is just a thing that I cut off from the thing I was making earlier with the photos. So I thought she could probably use any of those to make something interesting. And here are a bunch of stickers. So. All these puppies. Ta-da. I, I know I was using these throughout the, the um, thing, and that's because if you look, I actually, on the go, whenever I was at Barnes & Noble, uh, made these so that I wouldn't have to bring all of my washi tapes with me. And I decided to add some more tape to them and throw them in. And then I drew this out along with the first letter I wrote because I thought she could use it and just like write whatever she wanted on the banner. Then I have a playlist, questions, and of course, a little valentine. Oh, <laughs> a little valentine. But yeah, uh, that's all for this video.